glomerula glaris glaravigit glomerulonephritis by Morgan Small, Tom, and Jelaine. Wait, Canadian hospitals. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Are you? We're, we're okay. I'm okay. Um, but my son Morgan's been having some troubles lately. Um, we had a bacterial infection earlier in the month. Okay. And now he's got swelling in his ankles and he's got swelling in his face. Mm -hmm. And he started having darker urine as if there's almost like blood in it. So I'm kind of getting concerned about that. Okay, sounds like your son has uh, uh, glomerulonephritis. What's that? What's that? The kidney is a bean-shaped organ that is the size of a fist. The functions include preventing the buildup of waste and extra fluid in the body, keep levels of electrolytes stable such as sodium, potassium, and phosphate. They make hormones that helps to regulate blood pressure, make red blood cells, and keep the bones to stay strong. Each kidney is made up about a million filtering units called nephrons. Each nephron filters a small amount of blood. The nephron includes a filter called the glomerulus and a tubule. The glomerulus lets fluid and waste product pass through it. However, it prevents blood cells and large molecules, mostly protein, from passing. Normal physiology. The glomerulus is a cluster of blood vessels around the end of a kidney tubule. It is where waste products are filtered from the blood. The blood is cleaned out by the process of filtration in the kidney. Glomerular filtration is the first step in urine formation. Blood enters the kidney by the renal artery. The arterioles feed into the glomerular capillaries. As the blood travels through the glomerular capillaries, filtration causes a lot of plasma content to spill out when they spill out of the glomerular capillaries, they end up within the glomerular capsule. The glomerular capsule is continuous with the rest of the renal tubules. It branches into small arteries and eventually forms an arteriole. Acute glomerulonephritis is caused by an infection that alters the host immunoglobulin. Immunoglobulin is a large Y-shaped protein that helps identify foreign objects in the body, such as bacteria and viruses. Infected immunoglobulin combines with antibodies to form complexes, which collects in the glomeruli capsule. An accumulation of immunoglobulin antibody complexes damages the basement membrane in the kidney. The basement membrane is responsible for filtration in the glomerular capsule. Symptoms of glomerulonephritis include edema, less urination, blood in the urine, high blood pressure. Risk factors diabetes, malignancy, alcoholism, acquired immune, immune deficiency syndrome or AIDS, and the use of intravenous drugs. The main treatment for glomerulonephritis is the use of antibiotics. Glomerulonephritis affects the normal process of blood filtration into urine by increasing capillary permeability due to inflammation caused by an infection. Examples, streptococcus, hepatitis, autoimmune conditions. This means that things that shouldn't be in the urine are able to pass through the kidney's filtration system, and inflammation in conjunction with immune responses and hypercellularity destroys the capillary lumens, causing symptoms like blood in the urine, edema, and in some severe cases, kidney failure.
Proteins are present in the blood and in the kidneys affected by glomerulonephritis. Proteins like Ig antibodies and complement proteins can pass through the filtration system and into urine, which is proteinuria. Increased permeability in the cell membranes of the glomerulus are responsible for proteinuria, which leads to hyperproteinemia in the blood, which causes edema and hyperlipidemia due to the kidney's rapid protein synthesis. The end.